Bonjour, today I'm gonna show you a simple tip to make any advanced stencil uh, very easy to use. So this is an advanced stencil called Mini Cubes Cascade. And um, the first thing you need to do with any stencil, beginner or intermediate or advanced, it doesn't matter. Just write the name, okay? Because here you have the name engraved and you have the copyright engraved. What I do, I don't write copyright, you know, 2020, Leah France, because that's pretty long. So I just write copyright 2020, for example, or just the C or just the year. It doesn't matter. And then it's good to have the name of the stencil um, that you write because it's hard to see it because it's, in, it's laser engraved. Once you have the name and here, like I said, you can write only the C or the year or the name of the business. It doesn't matter. But what does matter it's important because on every stencil when we do the layout combination we actually show you how to use the stencil so I explain here you see the um, the name and the name sorry and the copyright is kind of in a different direction I grab my stencil and I will make it correspond to this. So when you want to have this, this direction, you just need to do this. And then it says in the same way what it says on the cover, okay? So you want to do that. And then I'm gonna show you how to, this simple tip for this layout combination and this one. Um, so you can do any of them, but I'm gonna do two examples with you, so then you have an understanding of how it works. Um, so, first step, write on the stencil. Second step is I grab a piece of paper uh, that I don't care about, just to protect, protect my table. But if you don't care about you know, what you're using uh, with your stencil, then you're fine. And I'm using clips to hold my stencil so it doesn't move. And I'm excited because um, that's the clips I was selling before and now I have this new type of clips and they are a lot thinner. Um, so that's, you know, they are way better than before. So I'm glad I kind of improved them. Uh, and they are still the same price, one dollars for four of them. I'm gonna not use this one, I'm gonna use the new one. But I want to tell you that it's not because I sell four of them uh, at one dollar that you need to use four of them because sometimes you can think, oh yeah, I'm gonna have the clips here, for example, and here, and then you kind of saying, oh, I'm gonna also place it here so it doesn't move uh, and then maybe at the bottom. I really don't recommend that. Um, uh, it makes it um, uh, harder for you to use because then if you want to place a piece of photo under it, it's very hard, okay? And you don't want to do that. You really don't want to have this on the side or at the bottom. You just want to have it at the top. So like I said, even if I sell four of them, use only two at the top. If you want to use four of them, you can, uh, but two is already pretty strong. The reason why I have four, <laughs> to be honest, is because I know it's very easy to lose something when you work on the table. <laughs> That's why I'm like, okay, four, you're safe, because if you use two of them and you kind of lost it in your mess on your table, then you know you can grab the two others. Does that make sense? And then you can still do it. And then at the end, when you clean everything, you're like, oh, there they are, my two clips. Um, I leave the four of them, but um, no, actually, yeah, because you really don't need four of them. And I like to have it on the side here, on this in here. Uh, and then this way, when you lift, see, there is no, it's very easy. Okay, it doesn't move and it's very easy. So let's go back to what we were supposed to do. So let's pretend I'm going to do this one. Uh, so see the copyright is in the other direction, so actually I need to do this and place it how they say to do it, so it's like that. So I'm just gonna move that in here and in here. There you go. Now I'm ready, so what I do is I take my um, erase um, 
my marker, sorry, and I'm gonna follow uh, the sketch. I'm following here, I'm like, okay, I'm there, 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 so I'm here, this line. Okay, I'm like, okay, that's the one. I'm following, okay, I stop there, and I'm like, okay, that's the one. Let's go and do this big guy, big guy, big guy. So that's what, that's an hexagon, I'm assuming. One, two, three, yes, that's four and six. So that's an hexagon, so this, and then this, and then this. So I have my first shape, then what? In here, okay, I have the cubes. Also, if it makes it easier, like, okay, I'm gonna do the three black, um, the, ba the big guys, okay? But I'm gonna show you something also. So you do this one, and then those, this big guy. In here, in here, okay. Now, like I was saying, if it makes it easy on you, you can use a colored marker and you do your small cubes. You don't have to, but if it makes it easier on you, I mean, it doesn't hurt, so I'm showing you that and that. And then, okay, we have another one here. That's really cool when you start to to write on it that it, it takes shapes. You know, it's it's like, oh yeah, I see it now. And then a cube over there. And then there is another one in here. What will happen when you do that is that all of the sudden, because this one and this one. So then all of the sudden, it makes it very easy because when you remove all of that, and there you go. So you have your design that is kind of obvious and then you place your photos and you know, your piece of paper like you usually do. Now I'm gonna show you how it's exciting also because once you do that, you can erase. So I'm gonna erase the lines. So you can use um, anything you want. Oh, you know what, I forgot to place my piece of paper so I don't stay my table so you do that and like yeah I was saying that you can use also a regular you know paper towel it doesn't matter papier essuie tout in French so after the papier essuie tout um, you can now do the second one. So the second one, you, you, um, the, I want to show you, the, it's on the side this time, okay? So if it's on the side, I'm like, okay, uh, on the side, so I take, I place it the right direction and I'm like, okay, on the side. So boom, I place it there, okay, I'm good. And now I place, like I said, at the bottom, uh, not at the bottom, <laughs> at the top and only two. But if you want to add more, it's okay. Uh, and then you're like, okay, the next uh, one. Okay, so it's all on this. The first one is really close to the title. So that's the one. So I'm gonna do this one. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you have a chance, I didn't have a chance to place it on YouTube, yes. But look at the video about the different colored marker. Uh, because it's, it comes very, very um, important, the colored marker for one specific stencil. Uh, it's a seasonal stencil and the name is a Shellfish. And like I said, the video is on my online store, but I will publish it to YouTube. Uh, but it's a very um, easy f um, tip, again, to, to be able to use Shellfish at the most. So it's it make it easier to uh, use uh, shellfish. Uh, tuck. And obviously you can create your own combination, which is great, you know. You will see, you will be so excited when you find your own. Uh, the feeling is really great. Um, so we provide six examples for you to start with, but um, there are many more that we can do. Let me see, I'm here, 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 and here, and here. 
and then the this one, the last one here, another cube that goes down, and that's the last one. Yes. So I'm not gonna do the other side, and here it's your photos that goes there. Um, yeah, that's I'm gonna remove that so you can see better, but that's how you kind of prepare your stencil and then uh, you you do your your layout. I hope this video uh, today was helpful. So bye bye or au revoir in French. Bye.